friends. Today we're going to do a new lesson and learn about something called landscapes. All of the pictures of your summertime drawings that you did last week were wonderful. Two weeks ago, we learned about an artist named Georgia O'Keeffe who's famous for making flowers. She's also really famous for making landscapes. When she moved to New Mexico, she did lots of paintings of the desert. So this art project is going to take us two weeks. Today, you're going to watch this video and learn about landscapes. And you're going to watch another video and learn how to draw your landscape with a pencil. Next week, I'm going to teach you how to add color to your landscape. Here we go. So this is a landscape painting by our friend Georgia O'Keeffe. And this is sort of desert-ish, but it's not super dry because we can see that there's some plants here. All right, so here's my mouse, and I'm going to point with this. Down here at the bottom of the landscape is some bushes. We can actually see a little teeny tiny yellow road, yellowish brownish road, and there are these um, yellow little bush type plants, okay? Those are closest to us in the picture. Okay, and the part of the picture that is closest to us is called the foreground. Foreground means the front. So if I was going to take a walk in this painting and I wanted to walk all the way to those mountains, I would first start in this field with these little yellow bushes. Okay, and this is the foreground. After I walk through all these bushes, I'm back here and there are some trees. And I go through the trees and here's a field. There's actually lots of trees back there, but see all those little green dots? It doesn't look like trees because they're so teeny tiny, but they're really far away. So they're big trees, but she had to paint them really tiny because they're really far away. All right. So if I go even farther, I keep on walking and I make my way to this mountain. See how the mountain is a greenish blue color? Well, that's because of the trees on the mountain. But the trees are so tiny, we can't even see them. Okay. So that's super duper far away. So the things that are close to us, like these yellow bushes, is called the foreground and things are bigger. The middle ground here, things get a little smaller and farther away. Then super far away, we call this the background. All right, and so we're gonna look at other artwork and we're gonna look for the foreground, middle ground, and the background. Here's a painting done by one of my teachers named Joe Sweeney. He lives near Philadelphia. And this is a painting he did. It's actually not a painting. He used chalk to do this, special kind of chalk. And there's cows. These cows are really big in the picture because they are closest to us. They are in the foreground. Foreground starts with the letter F, okay? Look at this tree. The cow is bigger than the tree. What? Cows are not bigger than trees. But in this picture, he had to make the cow bigger because the cow is so much closer to us. The tree is farther away, so he had to make it smaller, okay? When we make things small, it looks farther away. Then super far away, see this little white dot? Do you know what that is? That's a house. What? Why is a house smaller than a cow? That makes no sense. It's because it's so far away. And behind the house right here is like some hills. And those hills are covered with trees and you can't even see the trees because they're so teeny tiny and so far away, okay? So the background of this painting, of this chalk pastel picture is these mountains with the trees on it. The middle ground, like medium far away, are these fields and the tree. And the foreground closest to us in the front, the foreground is the cows eating the grass. Okay, this is a famous artist named Vincent Van Gogh. And in the foreground, there is this cool looking bush and this wheat. A little farther away are these smaller bushes right here. This is a super big tree, but this is still called the middle ground, right? This bush here is probably the same size as this bush. Vincent Van Gogh had to make it so much smaller because it's farther away. Then super far away in this picture in the background is this gray area right here. And that's probably like some hills or mountains way off in the distance. And we can't really see any details, but it's there. And it's super far away and that's called the background. All this cool stuff up here. Vincent Van Gogh is famous for making his sky have lots of movement and it looks windy and the clouds are really cool. That's what's happening up in the top of the picture. All right, last thing, we have this cool battle with ships. This one is in the foreground and super big. This one is in the middle ground and medium sized. And this one is teeny tiny in the background. This is a battle that happened during the Civil War. If you're going to do this picture, your ship is going to have to be tiny when it's far away and super big when it's close up. All right, I'm excited.